everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all had a fantastic new year and happy new year to all of you watching. Today I have my first luxury haul video of the year. These purchases were made just after Christmas and the last purchase was delivered yesterday so I'm finally ready to make this video. I have quite a few items for you and I am still waiting for one item from Claudie Pillow which I was kind of hesitant to include because I didn't think it was very luxury but this is the skirt here that I'm waiting for. It's just a knitted skirt in a black wool and I think it's really beautiful and really versatile so I wanted to add it to my wardrobe for the colder months. I'll also be showing you something that I bought from Salvatore Ferragamo, something from Versace which is really small but I thought was really really cute and also something from Burberry and Prada. I am going to be taking a tiny bit of a break from shopping now because I've done quite a lot of shopping in the past month or so. In the past month I've added three bags to my collection and quite a few coats and different accessories so I'm definitely going to be taking a break for a couple of months so if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe. I put out new videos every single week and I would love to have you back on my channel. First of all I'm going to start with my most exciting purchase. This is a handbag that I have loved for maybe two or three years since it was released. I originally saw this in the airport in Amsterdam when I was on holiday and I fell in love with it but because I didn't really know that much about the brand at the time and because it was quite a new design I thought I would wait and see if it stood the test of time. They're still producing this bag to this day and it is a bag from Ferragamo. Inside this dust bag we have this absolutely beautiful dark green Ferragamo studio bag. I am completely obsessed. This is a bag that I've absolutely loved for a long time and I am so happy that I finally added it to my collection. It's in a beautiful dark green pebbled leather with gold hardware. I love the mix of gold and green. I feel like it will work throughout the year, mostly in the autumn and winter, but I can definitely see myself wearing this bag with all white in the summer. And then inside the bag also, it's lined with beautiful dark green leather. And then the bag also comes with a strap, which is not that common for bags of this size to come with the strap, but I thought it was just perfect because when bags like this get a little bit too heavy, it's nice to have them on the strap. Also, my absolute favorite part of this bag is look at all those feet. I always complain when bags don't have feet, like my Fendi Peekaboo does not have feet, but I am so happy the amount of feet on this bag which means that the bottom of the bag will probably never get damaged and I'm just so obsessed with it. I love the silhouette of this bag. I think it's so beautiful, so timeless and understated and I am so happy that I've added it to my collection. Um, I bought this from the Ferragamo outlet in this country at Mr Village and I paid £1,041 for this. When I text the essay at the outlet, I did say that I wanted a smooth leather bag that was not black. So this is the one that I chose and I am so happy with my choice. Next up, we have an item from Versace. This is actually my first item from Versace and it's nothing exciting. It's a piece of homeware. I've been looking for a jewelry dish for a long time and this is the one that I chose. I originally wasn't going to go for a designer one, but I thought that this was just really cute and I wouldn't normally go for something this garish and loud in fashion on a shirt or a dress or anything like that so I thought it was quite exciting to have it on a little plate on my bedside table. As you can see here it just does look beautiful with my jewellery on it and I just thought it was gorgeous. I am really really happy that I chose to buy this and I think if I was going to buy another one I would definitely choose Versace again because I think it's just gorgeous. There was a lot of different designs on the website but I thought this one just added a little bit of a touch of light to my bedside table because it's black. I didn't want to get a black and gold one because I thought it wouldn't pop enough and a lot of my jewellery is also um, white metal with white stones so I thought that it would pop against it and it would just look beautiful. Next up I have this gorgeous embroidered coat from Armani. I am going to show you a shot of me wearing this but I am completely obsessed. I bought this from TK Maxx which is the UK equivalent of TJ Maxx and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. If you can see that embroidery and the different patch workings on there, I just thought it was stunning and I had to have it in my collection. 
have a pair of orange shoes that I've been having a really hard time matching to anything. So I feel like I can now wear my bright orange suede shoes with this coat with an all black outfit and I just think it will look beautiful. Next up, I have this beautiful black wool coat from Burberry. You can see it has a peplum detail around here. I am going to show you a picture of this coat on because I did wear it in my London vlog. I've been looking for a black felty wool coat for a while and this one from Burberry came up on Vestia Collective and I was so happy to add it to my collection because I love Burberry coats. I have a couple of other Burberry coats and I just thought that it was beautiful and understated. And then inside you can see that it has a very faint satin gray and black Burberry check, which I thought was a really pretty touch. And then last but not least, I have this beautiful black 100% wool dress from Prada. I absolutely love the detailing that you can see here around the neck. We have these beautiful grommets along the top, and then we also have these little slits. I just thought it was really cute. And then I really, really like the cream piping as well. I'm on a bit of a black dress hunt at the moment. I think I've maybe bought five or six different black dresses in the past month or so and I am just adding them and adding them because I feel like they're such classics and I can wear them with absolutely everything. I was thinking this dress with my new Armani coat would look beautiful and I am so excited to wear this dress. Also has these grommets along the bottom and then this really cute velvet bow detail. I will show you a small video of me wearing it just so you can see what it looks like but I feel like that is a dress that is not too loud and it doesn't say Prada anywhere. So I can definitely wear it and wear it and wear it and no one will say, oh, you've worn that dress before because it's quite plain, but it does have small details on it, which I think make it a little bit more exciting than just a plain black dress. So that was my first luxury haul of 2022. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what your first purchase of 2022 was down below. I would love to hear about all the beautiful things you've been buying. And if you have a channel like myself, which talks about handbags and luxury goods, please comment down below and let me know because I'm always looking for new channels to watch. Like I said before, I hope you all had a lovely new year and I hope you have a great year going forwards. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.